Hi Capricorns, this is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, um, Capricorns, you guys have three jumping cards this month. I pulled some extra message cards for you guys because um, you're like next to the last reading that I have to do. So the three cards that jumped the deck for you guys was boundaries, finances, and lessons. So there is something that went on in your life for quite some time. Okay, and the reason why I say it was quite some time, it could have been one year, two years, three, four, more than that. Whatever this situation is, I feel like you're either setting boundaries on this situation, okay, or you're totally giving up on it and you've learned some lessons and now you're focused on your finances. So some of you are not focused on love this month. You're focused on yourself, a business, finances, a new job, um, just your career in general. Even though this is a love reading, I'm going to you know talk to you guys about whatever comes out. But some of you have learned some lessons, okay? And you're applying those lessons. And um, I see happiness down here in the bottom row coming for you guys. I also see forgiveness and reconciliation. So someone may want to come back around. But um, for the most part, you guys are focused on self, okay? And you feel like that's the best thing for you to do right now. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So in this top row, we have karmic partner. We have angry. Conflict. Betrayal. Yeah, you guys definitely went through something here. So we have karmic partner, angry, conflict, betrayal, and cutting ties. So some of you guys are cutting ties. You're cutting ties with someone who betrayed you. Um, there's constant conflict with this person. Um, and the, it could be a Leo for some of you, okay? Um, but you're angry. You're angry with this person. You're angry with the situation. You feel like you wasted time. But I'm picking up the energy that the time that you feel you wasted, Capricorns, was a lesson that spirit feels like you needed to learn with this person. Because whenever you have the lessons card and the karmic card come out in the same Re, um, the same reading, same love reading. This was something that was meant to happen, but it was meant to teach you something as well. So whoever this person is that betrayed you, that you're angry with the situation and you're trying to move past it or get over it or deal with this person, the universe is saying, take the lesson that you learned, apply it and move on because there's better coming for you. Okay. So know that um, that this per you may have felt like this person just maybe used you, play games. They had things, you know, up and down. They didn't know what they wanted. If you look at this card right here, this looks like someone has a headache. They're stressed out. They're tired of dealing with someone, and this person could care less. They're like, take it or leave it. This what you know. This is who I am. You know, this is what I'm gonna do. And I just feel like you're not, you know, getting along with this person now. For those of you who are specifically dealing with the Leo, because I know everyone is not dealing with the Leo, you know, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and what doesn't leave behind, okay? Also, the roles could be reversed, so switch it as need be. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, and this Leo is a karmic, okay? This person, male or female, is a lesson. You're not meant to build with this person. You're not meant to have a stable, solid, committed foundation where you guys could move to a higher level of commitment. No. The universe is saying this, not me. The way the cards came out, okay? So for some of you who are dealing with the Leo, it's not meant for it to go anywhere. And you could still be in love with this person. They could still be in love with you. But you, if there's a lot of conflict. This person makes you angry. They don't listen. They play games. They're manipulative, okay? So... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for some of you. Now, in the in the bottom row, you have change. You have new perspective. So you're looking at things differently now, okay? You don't even look at things the same. I feel like a lot of you have changed things in your life. You've changed the way you see love. You've changed who you give your energy to, okay? Some of you are not giving your energy and your efforts and your love the way you used to in the past because this situation has changed you. But I feel like someone is coming in and they're wanting forgiveness because you have happiness here, but you also have reconciliation, okay? So some of you could be happy 
to get an apology from someone. Maybe that's what you wanted in order to close this out and move on, okay? Some of you, I feel like you don't give a damn. You just want this person to stay away from you. I get it. <laughs> Trust me, I do. But someone is coming back. They may want to reconcile with you, okay? They feel like um, there's still something between you guys, but you may not feel that way, okay? So expect communication from someone who wants you to forgive them. Also, I'm picking up the energy that this person, it's like they've done so much and they keep asking for forgiveness. They keep saying sorry, but that just isn't enough anymore. It's like whatever they've done to you, you're like, you can't fix this. Sorry doesn't fix this. I don't know what will fix this, but your sorries don't, okay? So some of you are picking up that energy. I mean, I'm picking up that energy for some of you. Like, that's what you're feeling. You're like, I don't know what else to tell you, but... You know, if you think you can come in and just say sorry to me, that's not enough. Okay, so some of you are holding a grudge against this person because you feel like they've just done a lot to you. But like I said, you're looking at things with a new perspective and there is change headed your way. Um, and you do have happiness headed your way as well. For some of you, there could be someone new coming into your life. Okay, so if someone asks you to go out or if your friends, you know, want to invite you to a party or whatever, don't decline and say, no, I'd rather sit home and work and make money. You know, sometimes you have to step away from your work and balance out your life and just have some fun and get your mind off things. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's get into your reading, Capricorns, and let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life. We'll just put these over here in case I need to refer back to them during your reading. Okay. So let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me one minute, Capricorns. Oh, all right. So something fell out. The Knight of Swords. Aggressive, confident, moves fast. Somebody's coming back in. They're coming back in fast. They have something that they want to say. This person could come back and argue with you. Okay? So keep that in mind. Like, they could come back in apologizing. And then when you remind them of everything they did then they start an argument because it's like they don't want to be reminded of what they did. They just want to say sorry and they think that you're going to accept that and move on. But you're like, no, explain yourself. Tell me why. <laughs> some of you like, you're like, I need a reason why you did this. Like, I want to know why you play games or something here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn spirit? What messages do you have for Capricorns in the month of October? What do they need to know about this situation? What do they need to know about their partner? Okay, so that card flew all the way over there. Seven of Wands, arguments, defensive, uphill battle. Didn't I just say that? I'm telling you, this person, they're coming back in, right? Really fast. For some of you, it could be an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. For others, it's a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. They're coming back in, but they're still defensive. And you're saying to this person like, you have no right to be defensive. Let me break down to you what you did, okay? Let me remind you, because I think you've forgotten, <laughs> okay? And then once you break it down to this person, everything that they did to you, they still get defensive. And you're like, okay, you know what? This is why I'm walking away from you. So that's what I'm seeing here for some of you. What was that that wanted to fall off? Page of Swords. All right, I don't know what this is. The Nine of Swords. Insecure, worrying, reassurance. Yeah, someone is worrying. Um, whenever I see the nine of swords, this worry, fear, anxiety, someone may be thinking that you're going to rush back into them. Okay, even though they did you wrong, they think that you're going to come back and you're going to fix this and make this work. And you're like, hell no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. For some of you, it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, com competition, jealousy, challenges. I feel like some of you have someone that is jealous around you. Keep that in mind as well. They may see things as a competition and not see you as a partner. They may feel like everything that you do, they have to upstage you or do better. All right. Um, so we have the moon. We have Justice and the Seven of Pentacles. So with the Moon card here, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, okay? But there's a lot of uncertainty around this connection, okay? You don't know where you stand with this person. I feel like some of you still want this person, but you don't. You're willing to let them go because you know that they're drama. 
with the justice card some of you could be dealing with a libra or you um if you're not dealing with the libra there's going to be justice in this situation for you okay things are going to be made fair things are going to be made right um, and I feel like this person may even get some karma if they haven't already. We have the seven of pentacles. So some of you are constantly reevaluating this situation that you're in. You could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn, such as yourself. But you're like tired of trying to figure out where you stand with them. We have the King of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person that you're dealing with, they're very secretive. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve. But also, it's like they make you feel like you owe them something. Or maybe you should chase after them. Or maybe you should figure out what's going on with them. Instead of them telling you what's happening in their lives. Instead of them telling you, like, you know, what the issue or the problem is. Because I feel like this person has issues or problems. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see, we have someone who's coming in who's supportive for you. There's going to be an equal give and take with someone that's coming in for you, but it may not be this person because I feel like you're going to sever and cut ties with someone or it's just like something is going to fizzle out here. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles, leaving someone out in the cold, losing faith. It's like you're losing faith in this situation, Capricorns. And then we have the Magician. Okay, so this is the Gemini card here. So I feel like you're going to be manifesting something new in your life or you're going to be manifesting change or just, you know, going about things in a different way. So we have the Knight of Wands here. Somebody is coming back in. They're coming back in and they want to tell you how much they care, how much they love you and things like that. But you're like, you don't show me this. Like you're saying it, but your actions are totally different. Yeah, for some of you, it's definitely a Leo. It's definitely a Leo. We have the sun card here, okay? Twin flame, happiness, burnout. I feel like this person makes you feel like I can't take it anymore. Like, I don't know what your deal is. This person comes in one minute and they act like they care and they love you. And then the next minute they're gone. Or they act like, what's the problem? Okay, I know I called you on Monday, but I haven't called you in a week or two. What's the problem? I don't understand. And you're like, what do you mean you don't understand? <laughs> what, what are we doing here? And they can't tell you. They're like, what you mean? What are we doing? And you're like, you know what? I don't have time to play your game. I don't have time to be manipulated. Okay, I'm not going to let you manipulate me. You know? And I feel like... Yeah, some of you could be dealing with another Capricorn. We have the double, or you're dealing with someone who has control issues. So if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, you're dealing with something who, um, someone who is extremely toxic. Yeah, this person is extremely toxic, manipulative. They like to play games. But we have the judgment here. So some of you are making a final decision about this person. There's going to be a turning point. So whereas though they thought that they could continue to play games with you, Capricorn, but you're not having it. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner feeling this way about you. So make sure you reverse the situation as need be. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles is someone wants to work on this connection. Okay. Whether it be you or your person. Um, but with the Queen of Cups here... I'm feeling like this person that you're dealing with, it's like they make things extremely emotional. Something, it's just like you guys are always emotional about the situation. But we have the Page of Cups. So this could be a younger water sign that some of you are dealing with that's coming back in to offer love. But this person is very immature. They could be younger in age. And it's just like their behavior doesn't... Their behavior doesn't match what you need, what you want. It's like, you may like this person, but you're like, you know what? You're too immature or like you just like their emotions. They're maybe they're emotionally immature Capricorns. So we have the four of pentacles and we have the three of wands with this four of pentacles. I feel like somebody is hanging on to you. Somebody's hanging on to you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this three of wands. And it's like, I feel like you were waiting on this person. They had you waiting yeah, like waiting for clarity, trying to figure out what their intentions were, you know, what they wanted to do while they were playing games, dealing with other people. I feel like this person could have had you in a third party situation. And when you found out about it, they tried to explain. It's like they tried to justify it and give you a reason behind it. And you were like, mm -mm. <laughs> like, there is no reason that you can give me to tell me why you had me in a third party situation that I will accept. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Capricorn. Okay. So, so well, I'm telling you, you can't make it up. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. And you're over this person. You're so over this person because you keep trying to have the strength to, d to deal with their power struggles and the chase and the bullshit that they're bringing. And it's like, you're like, I'm so over you. Like, what, you know what I mean? Like, what is your, that's what I'm saying. I feel like in, in the beginning of the reading, when I told you guys that some of you, not all, were dealing with the Leo that was just playing games. I was picking up that energy strongly. Okay, and like I said, it's not everybody, but this message is for someone specific out there because this person is always in the seven of swords energy, always leaving, um, while I'm running away, they have a lot of secrets, you know, everything's a game to them. It's like they don't play fair. And then when you question it, they want to know like, what, what are you talking about? I don't understand what you're saying. And you're like, okay, no problem. Let me just walk away. And the reason why they're doing it is because this person is toxic. Okay, they have a double energy. This is toxic. This is your energy as well, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another Capricorn. But if not, you're dealing with someone who's very toxic. We have the Page of Pentacles. So this person is coming back in with a love offer. I feel like they don't want to let you go. For some of you, it's like they know that you could find better or do better. But, you know, that's why they don't want to let you go. So we have the Temperance here. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, so if you're not dealing with the Sagittarius Capricorn, the universe is saying that things are about to be balanced out in your life. You don't have to trip over this person anymore. You don't have to allow them to bring this drama and this chaos into your life. Okay, so let's pull some Oracle cards for you guys and let's see what this person is feeling and thinking that you're dealing with. Even though I feel like some of you don't give a damn, but we're going to ask for it anyway. And then at the bottom of the deck, I want to show you guys, you have the Ten of Cups, okay? So for some of you, you want family, you want security, and you want happiness, and that's what's coming in for you, okay? That's coming in for you this month. All right, my cards get stuck. All right, so let's see what else the universe has to say. Let's see what your partner is feeling, thinking. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What is their partner feeling and thinking? What is their ex feeling and thinking? Spirit, what is Capricorn ex or partner feeling and thinking? What is Capricorn ex or partner feeling and thinking? Pawn situation. Yeah, see, I feel like when this person first came into your life, Capricorn, they it's like they were playing games from the very beginning. I don't feel like this person wanted anything solid and stable. They just were out to play games, but I feel like you found that out um, and then you were too far invested in this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What does their ex want them to know? What does their partner want them to know? What is their partner feeling and thinking? I drove by your house recently. So you could have drove by this person's house or they drove by yours. They could be spying on you. I've changed. So this person wants to come in and they're going to tell you that they've changed Capricorn, but I feel like you're going to know better. <laughs> okay. I want to reach out to you, but I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah. This person can tell by like when they text you or when they call you, you know, or like you talk to them and you say things to let them know, like, I know you're playing games. I know you're not serious. I feel like they can hear it in your voice and they still just run away and then come back whenever they want or feel like they can message you or call you whenever they want and that you should be fine with it. And they're coming back in. I don't feel like this person is going to just walk away easy. Spirit, spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What does their ex want them to know? What does their partner want them to know? I love everything about you. I feel like yeah, just whoever y'all you guys are dealing with is very manipulative. I feel really bad for how I treated you. So I feel like this person is going to come in. They're going to tell you that they love everything about you. They still want to be with you. They feel bad for how they treated you, but they're not changing their ways. I never thought we would be apart this long. 
So for some of you, you haven't spoken to this person and they think that it's a game, but you're serious as hell. You made me want to become a better person. So for some of you, when you met this person, they didn't have anything going on in their life, right? Nothing productive, <laughs> okay? To you, anyway, not to, from the looks of it. And I feel like you put this person on to game, okay? You put them on a game, you know, you said some things to them, or you talked about business things with this person. Maybe this was something that you guys discussed. And, you know, you made them want to become a better person, but you didn't know that this person was not the person that you were supposed to build with and spend your life with. And I feel like you really got invested into this person and then found out like, this isn't the person for me. Well, they're planning on contacting you. So if you haven't heard from them and you're going to, okay, this person could be having car issues. We have transportation issues here, or maybe they live far away from you to where as though they may have to catch a train or a plane and they can't get to you right now. For those of you who are dealing with someone who lives um, in a different state or a different country, some of you, this could be an internet relation as well. I'm picking up that energy. Spare, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What messages do you have for Capricorns? What do they partner? What want them to know? Outside party roadblock. There's a third party here. There's another person. But I feel like you already know that. You already know that this person possibly has several people that they're dealing with. Some of you are dealing with an attention whore, okay? Male or female. This person likes attention. They like to get attention from, you know, a lot of people. They don't like to settle down. They don't want to commit, okay? For some of you, this person is immature. They're younger than you. They're just not into committing right now, okay? But they don't want you to walk away. They want you to stay around while they play games. And I feel like some of you are over it. You're over it. All right, so let's see. Let's get a couple more. I want to reunite with you. Yeah, they do. They, You know why they want to reunite with you? Because they know that you are done with them. <laughs> you, They know that you're done. It's like, I'm not playing your games. I'm not taking your lies. You know, I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. Because whenever this person talks to you, it's always some BS and they always try to manipulate you into believing something. So, yeah, if you took back your power, meaning like you're not talking to this person, you know, they feel like the silence is killing them. Okay, the silence is killing me. This person wants to talk to you, but I feel like when you do talk to them and you try to get to the bottom of what's going on, you know, they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to get to the bottom of what they did to you. They want you to let that go and they want you to move on and they just want to continue to play games. And I feel like a lot of you are over it. So that's what I see for you this month, Capricorn. Okay, those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.